it in a different language. You have other languages? Cinco. Yeah. Cuatro. Yeah. Tres. Dos. Bop. Uno. Bop. 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 Uh, bop. <laughs> bop. 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 What? Yeah, 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 good. Uh, boo. Uh, boo. Uh, boo. That's good. That's so good. Dude, your improv skills. Your improv skills are off the hook, bro. Thanks, man. I like to scat. I heard you were excellent Friday in the um. ABC, I was looking for ABC your CBS. face, sir. ABS I was so CBS excited. Showcase for ethnic talent. For ethnic talent. I heard Chris Watowski was there. Yeah, he was looking and, for you. And um, I already told him I wasn't going to be there. I was in fucking. Do you, let me say something to you right, right now. While you guys, while you guys play your Hollywood life with your Hollywood shows and your spas and your fucking spas, women marches and everything, <laughs> Papa has to go out in the world and make a living. Moolah. Okay. I have to go to radio and promote Tiger Belly. I have to go out and I'm out in the streets like an old salesman back in the 50s. Remember? Door to door. Door to door. And I'm going, hello. Hi. Um, good day to you today. Have you heard of Tiger Bellies? What's that? Oh, it's a fantastic um, podcast featuring <laughs> three Asians and an ugly white dude with a beard with a really pink dick. Oh. Yeah. What kind Would of you like to listen? Sure. How will this benefit my radio station? Oh, my God. It'll benefit you in many different ways. You'll learn about um, the different kinds of um, Asians that are out there. Oh, Mo there's, Mong. There's more than one. Yeah, there's Mongs. There's um the other ones. The other <laughs> just right. mongs. Yeah, there's the ones. <laughs> okay. Finally, there. only the mongs are getting mongs. recognition. Wow. What, what are those ones? They were the forgotten. The for colorful a while. ones with the falcons out in the fucking uh, tundra. The Mongolians. Mongolians. <laughs> we have those ones, right? They're eagles. We have the right? ones that go um um mao mao, and then they sh they play Russian roulette. Vietnamese. Oh, those, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's Ch Chinese. Chinese. Whatever. Mao. Either one. <laughs> either mao? either or either or. or. Interchangeable. And then I okay, so then I go. So would you listen? You know what? Yeah, I think we talk about God. Oh, definitely. And Jesus and stuff. Definitely, but not in a good way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, and we don't like Trump. Trumps. <coughs> oh. Anyway, so I've been out there um, hustling for uh, us, you know. But, um, baby, tell me about the um, the glorious day of the women's march. What do you want to know about? Everything it? about it, because I know that um. You went with your sister and your ugly Asian friend and your mom. Mm -hmm. No, I love Jessica. I shouldn't. Have, I, you know what? I want to say that again about that's her. So God, that's so fucking mean. That's so mean. And I really do, really love her. And I think she's very, you know. <laughs> no, no, you I think that she's, say it. <laughs> no, I think that she's really like, you know, cute in a, in a way where it's like, I don't get it, but I get why people get it. Okay. You know, you know I, what I mean? Yeah. Like you're, she's also my favorite friend of yours. Like you're you the closest to her. I mean, she. No, I. You have the honestly, I do love her, and I don't know how. I don't want to. Same it happened, people. but it happened, and we're kind of the same. We were very combative, but there is a understanding there. Like it's like fun, you know. Yeah. Like when we punch each other in the face and stuff like that. It's fun. <laughs> Jesus. But, um, <laughs> tell me about it, babe. Um, there's really not much to tell. There's I'm a lot sure, to tell. I'm sure everybody has been just flooded with pictures in the news cycle mm -hmm. of that women's march. Did but you it was nice. It train was... it? I heard it was packed. Like you <clears> couldn't <throat> take the train down there. <clears throat> oh, the the train was really packed. No, we took a we got dropped off. Nice. <clears throat> um, no, it was it was nice, and I think that a lot of people who weren't there or who just choose to take the antagonistic side of things want to be like, well, what's the point? What's that for? You know, because they they don't even want. They, they can't even accept that people aren't accepting the results. Like they can't even, it's, it's kind of like when, when you go there, you realize that there weren't just Democrats there. There weren't just, you know, the, you, you know, what people label like extreme feminists there. There were a lot of older men who were ex veterans with their mm -hmm. wives dressed as in the Susan B. Anthony garb. Funny. Yeah. And <clears throat> there were a lot of Republicans who, yeah, but were imagine about, them going, I'm not going to go tomorrow. I mean, I mean, there's, <clears throat> there's no, that's not true. There was a man. I know that. I, I mean, I know they want to be there, but you know, there's no other option, though. No, of course, there's an option. There's a guy. Oh who really? Still has oh really? Like, I'm not gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> then the, the the shit that he has to hear. From oh, an 80 year old woman, they've been together for like that's 40 true. years. That's at this Titanic point. age. I'm yeah, just asking a, questions. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all. There was a man who still had his stitches in from his chest tube, 
and him and his wife were alternating with the wheelchairs. So oh. and then and you kind of oh. makes you think like you know even us as like liberals they always say we always say like oh yeah just old white men at the top dictating our rights. But there are a lot of there were a lot of old white men at the march. So we yeah. can't just throw everyone under the same category and it makes you realize that I mean, there were Republicans there who were fiscally conservative, but who just wanted, you know, women's rights yeah. to be upheld. Yeah, but the and women <clears throat> that voted for Trump weren't there. Of course not. So, I mean, those are the women who are the still like the, the bitter naysayers who are who were. And I want to, I want to <clears throat> see them, and, right? And I want to look at them, and I want to follow them. <laughs> see, <laughs> follow, but, uh, follow them. <laughs> follow them in in L.A. <laughs> Dude, there's oh. what, how many in L.A.? Go to Santa Clarita. There are a bunch of A dumbs. lot of them. But no, okay, my, the biggest takeaway from all of that was really positive. Just spending the whole day there, you felt a little less bitter, a little less angry, a little less divided. You, you, you did see people from all walks of life, all colors, all sexual orientations, and they just generally wanted to feel safe in America again. And I came home feeling a little bit more open minded, you know, and not feeling so like I like defensive about my beliefs. And I thought that it was the most the most peaceful, calmest atmosphere, despite the fact that it almost hit a million people in the streets. It was really yeah, just that's nice. A lot of that's people. amazing. Yeah, everyone just was kind. Every comic that I know, every anyone that I know that's a guy that's in show business was there. I mean, what does that matter? <laughs> I think it's I think it's no, I think that a lot of guys <laughs> that I didn't think that would go went and they were like involved. I think that that made me feel good. I went to one in San Antonio. There was four people there. <laughs> and, really? Yeah, there four? Was four people, yeah. And uh we walked by um a police station and I threw a pebble at the window. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was your act. Ah, you you know, you know, it's the bath- have, that's the bathroom I, window, man. Oh, yeah. And that's what I did. And then, yeah, but there was not one in San Antonio. In fact, you could feel nothing there. Mm. The I'm, shows were great. I'm sure And I love the people. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I didn't. I'm sure there were. I think that, you Real, know. I don't think so. In fact, it, they, they told me before the shows, hey, can you not bring up Trump or anything like that? They really? Yeah, they did. Wow. And I go, why? Because San Antonio... Houston and Dallas were all they were all well, blue. San, San Antonio also has a, all the towns around it. Red. You know what I mean? Are military red. base there too? Yeah, they were just like just don't. And I go, all right. I'm not, I don't ever. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll say something about Trump, but um, yeah, I just didn't. Um, I missed it. I really did, and I wanted to go. But I have my favorite Trump now. It's Barron, and not in a funny way. I'm not trying to make fun of him. In fact, that writer from <laughs> SNL that made fun of him. Oh, Katie Rich. Yeah, he, yeah. She should be her ankle should be broken because Baron's Baron is my favorite one. He's the hope. Why is he your favorite? He's the great white hope. He's the great, great white, white hope, hope because he, like his mom tries to high five him, he won't do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know like I mean? he's a rebel. Yeah, like, yeah, and then she turns around and he tries to high five her head. Wait, yeah. right? <laughs> While the camera's the rolling, yeah. he um he looks he, like, like he doesn't hand away. want to be there. Yeah. You know, he does this blinking thing, which is like, I think he's trying to like teleport or something. Like he has a Morse code. <laughs> Maybe he has a power. Or yeah, he's Morse, Morse code, code like, to like get me out of here to Malia. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> to Malia. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Or Sasha. Like he's doing something. Baron. And I don't. You know, people make fun of him. Like he has autism. No, he's gonna turn out to be two things. Luke Skywalker. Oh, Luke Skywalker. Shit. Right. But then three things. I forgot about that. <laughs> Luke Skywalker, okay. Or he looks like an artist to me. Uh, just one of those. Like, like, like a you know, like he's going to sing for a band, but like be anti, oh, you know, anti-political, kind yeah. of like a rebel. Or he's American Psycho. Mm, like crazy. he's going to snap and then like kill like 30 no, other but crazy No, the, but the American Psycho label has already been taken by his older brothers. No. Yeah, they they're no, very because, American because no, they psycho. haven't. No, I'll tell you why they're not American Psycho. They look American Psycho. Purge. But how old are they? Forty. They yeah, haven't 30. done anything violent yet. We as that we know of. And that we know of, <laughs> right? True. But still, nothing like. I think Baron's cute, and he brings me a lot of joy. Yeah, he does. And he's a funny kid, and you he, he's ten years old. Awesome. Of awesome. course, he's gonna fucking act up, you know. And he's a boy. Girls at that age are very easy to quiet down and. 
you know, they're, they're yeah, not as they're not as wild as young boys. Young boys are very funny to me. He's very funny. And um, <clears throat> I just hope that he is just different, you know, and that's my hope. And um, yeah, and I, I feel like I've. I, I haven't accepted it. Uh, let's move on. No, 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 I, no, I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to dwell. I'm not gonna it. dwell on it. I'm not gonna talk about it. I know you told me not to. Okay. But because we're talking in circles, I understand that we're talking in circles. I'm just. I'm not saying anything specific. Okay. There is just a layer of embarrassment and also just a little bit of depression mm-hmm. when I turn on the news and I see him. It makes me feel like embarrassed. Mm-hmm. And um, that's all. And that's all I'm going to say about it. We're not going to dwell on it. But I saw a documentary when I was in San Antonio on HBO. And it's about Carrie Fisher and her mom. Oh. And I cried during it. Do you know why? Why? Well, you know how, you know that they're dead, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, Bobby. But Gilbert doesn't know shit. That's true. But yes, I, I, do, dumb. I, I do know and, this. No, one. not dumb, but you're just like, you're you know, dumb. I don't know nothing. You're very smart. I, no, yeah. you're just walking around. I don't know nothing. I sometimes say that. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. nothing. But yeah, but they died. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they died. A day apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what I didn't know is, is that they had been virtually living with each other for 20 years. I didn't know that. Like they were, their houses are connected. Oh, she was taking care of her mom. No, vice versa. Oh. Vice versa. They were both taking care of each other. And her brother's very highly involved in their lives. Mm-hmm. And now in that, when you look at that, you just it just make, becomes sadder. You know? Mm-hmm. Like if my mom died after I died the day after, it'd be really sad. But like I see her like three times a year. I see. You know? To see, and that's now you know why she died is that she couldn't live without her. Mm-hmm. Oh man! And I'm man. gonna say something right now, man, because I didn't even know about her mom really, Debbie Reynolds. I fuck. She is fucking talented. She's a star. I mean, not even know. I mean, in the fucking fifties and sixties, the MGM years. Good morning. Good morning. And then, like, some white dude would pick her up by the neck, and she would tap dance on a fucking piano. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> what she would, like. Her neck. L- l- she didn't give a fuck, right? <laughs> She would like do like spins on her back in the mud, like if she's doing a western. I mean, she is legitimately super. She reminds me of my friend Nicole Parker, who was on Mad TV with me. Mm-hmm. Like, can sing and dance and act. Triple threat. And then, not only that, right? She could do live performances. Broadway. But no, not Broadway, nightclub. Oh. She would go into the audience and tell jokes and riff. Mm-hmm. Like, I respect that so much. And then, um,. She made Carrie Fisher sing when she was 14. And Carrie Fisher had a good voice. Did you know that? Mm -mm. Yeah, she would sing in a deeper kind of more. She could have been a singer, I think, if she, like, developed her skill. And, um, yeah, it's just, and then there's just a lot of drugs and resentment. And their fucking dad was a piece of shit, Eddie Fisher. Yeah. He left the family for Elizabeth Taylor. Because she was yeah, the neighbor. I remember that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But then, but then later on, Elizabeth Taylor and um, Debbie became really good friends. Yeah, they did. And yeah. then later on, Eddie Fisher became virtually homeless. Really? He became destitute. Mm. So it's just, um, it's just a really good documentary. I just love to see. And you know what? Can I just say something? La- the last thing I want to say about it is, is that it gave me a sense of empowerment because. Um, there was this thing, right, right when Carrie Fisher is doing Star Wars, and she's just like, she's now at a convention, and she's like, um, I'm about to give celebrity lap dances, you know, yeah. and she goes out, and she charges money to sign, you know what I mean, posters, yeah, and she takes photos, <clears throat> and she thinks it's like being a stripper, but it's like, oh. it's yeah, but it's like how I feel sometimes, you know, when I'm like. Why well, do the strip? <laughs> but, I do strip during my show. Do both. You I do, do yeah. both. Yeah, <laughs> stripping. In but like, you know, there is a there is a sense of like, you know, when I go out and you know after the show and you take photos and stuff. I like seeing my fans and I like seeing the people showed up. I'm really grateful by it. But there is a sense of like, you know, it's it doesn't feel that mystique that you know being you know 
you know, not a celebrity, but somebody that's known. I'm sure you it loses its um, excitement after you get approached, you know, daily, right? After yeah, but I, I'm also like, I feel like I'm nice. I feel like nice. You're I really, extremely nice. I really nice. like, you know, them and I want to take <laughs> photos. They pick me up. They do to pick me up and put me on their shoulders and they treat me like I'm kind of like a, a child. An object. No, like an object, like, like, a... like a trophy or something. Oh. And I, I, I bear it, you know, I go, yeah, pick me up. Yeah, squeeze my ass when we're taking a photo. Like, dudes will, like, just, as a joke, grab my ass, you know? And I don't say anything. I just kind of go, oh, ah, that was a good one. You endure sexual harassment on a day <laughs> yeah, basis? Yeah, but, but then watching <laughs> Carrie Fisher do it, like, you're needing to do it to, to pay money. rent. Like, that, you know, doing the road Sad. for me, you know, I'm out doing shows. Sometimes, like, Saturday was great, but Friday, there was, like, one show was, like, 80 people or it was bad really? in front of in a three five four hundred seat venue oh yeah right and i'm out there like really trying you know to get them to like me and to i want to put on a good show but it's hard you know mm. but then watching carrie fisher grind it out made me go oh everyone kind of has to do it everyone in a way. hustles in their own hustle way. yeah it's yeah. hustling <clears throat> yeah, and i don't something. feel bad about it i like it now mm. I just, you know, when you see it, I just, I like seeing it and, and I just, you know, it was a really good documentary, you know, it was cute. It made me sad that they died a day b b apart. She couldn't live without him. And then the son now is like, oh, everyone's gone now. What is take, he doing? Take a, oh, well, never mind. I won't say it. What? He, if that were me, I would, if I lost my mom and sister and I was in my, let's say like 60s and I didn't have children or anything like that, yeah. I would, I would take a shit ton of barbiturates and. Peace out. Oh, geez. yeah, but he. Um, but he has. Well, he has a like wife. Lore, yeah, yeah, he <laughs> has a family. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, <laughs> a kid. He also gets everything. Oh, he's because rich, like it, Debbie Reynolds has like she's. She, I don't know if you know this, but she collected and bought over the last fifty years um, memorabilia. Mm. Like she sold. She had, you know, that infamous. Um, what's the blonde lady with the fucking. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> That's her name? Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you heard of her? With, with, with Kennedy. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe's dress. You know how she's on the subway and that, that she yeah. had that dress. Yeah. And she sold it for like six million dollars or something. Whoa. Yeah, but she collected it over the years, you know what I mean? Yeah. She would like go to like Sinatra's house and could I have your tuxedo? It's like Damn. why? It's only sell it in fifty years. She's you hustling. I mean? she's, she's a hustler. hustler. She, yeah, she was always like no, she didn't want old Hollywood to disappear. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That's that. And Wait, then, do you have memorabilia here that's worth more than, let's say, five hundred thousand? That's a memorabilia right here. That naked photo of me right there, six hundred thousand. That's the only one of it exists. Yeah. Oh, look at that Kim Jong Un right there. That's the only that's one. That's twenty dollars yet. If I auction it, I might get thirty dollars for that. More. <laughs> yeah. But um, I have to go to Dallas too. I hope everyone. Listen, everyone, anyone that lives in Dallas or in the Texas area, I'm gonna need help. I've never asked that before. But this is going to be a tough one. Do you never draw well in Addison? I eat it every time when I'm there. What is in the fact, reason? What is the reason? I don't like what, your tone, bro. What is the reason? No, don't do that. Why? Because you're now in the uh, cusp. Did I say no, that? Stop, I did stop, not say stop. that. How dare you? You're I did not say that. <laughs> you did a good showcase for your network thing. And now you're on the cusp of fucking something great. And you look at me and you go, why do you say that? With your fucking tone. No, I'm shocked. No. I'm shy. I've been no, to your you, Irvine you, show. I've been you, to your Irvine everyone show. Everyone in this room right now breaks my fucking heart. None of you guys even went to fucking support Gilbert, but me. Thank you, Kalila. I was in San Antonio. Yeah, okay. But he, he also had shows on Tuesdays and Wednesday <laughs> and Thursday before you left. You yes. didn't go to any I of did? them. I did? I never knew about him. Yes, if, you did. I told you every day. I don't oh. listen. Jeez. I don't listen when you say stuff. So. But no, you know what? You know what it is, though, babe. Do you know how how amazing Gilbert was that night? Thank you, Clyla. Bro, he was preaching. spectacular that night. I'm preaching to the choir I'm right now. I'm just saying, you're my Hollywood dad, and yeah. You know, let me say this. I was um, like a proud mommy next to your mommy. Let me say this. I swear to God. I swear to God, that if Gilbert asked me personally, <laughs> I would have gone. But hear. he doesn't. You don't I ask me. Your, I don't have your phone number. <gasps> you won't give it to me. <gasps> what? You get you don't, George. You, don't, you call. You don't have my phone number. No, I do not. Give me your phone right now. Oh, now <laughs> give me your now phone give me, number. Now give me your phone number. I give, can't. What the give fuck? Give me your we, phone right now. We've been doing this for like a year and a I half. I asked him what time. Can I text Bobby? Give me your phone. Give me your phone. 
Yeah, it won't phone. do you any good, Gilbert. It won't do you any good. Fucking you're fucking just you're, you will text phone. into a void. You is fuck. what texting right. Bobby is like texting I, into you a have void. My number. No, I don't, bro. Right, let's see. I asked you one time. I was like, hey, so I can hey. text you. No, no, no. He goes, let's see. You think I'm gonna give texting you my phone no number? Avoid. I'm Bobby Lee. Who are you? <laughs> no, I that didn't was do fucking that. two months in when I asked you, bro. Oh, you don't. I don't have. You don't have my number. You gave George your number. You texted me before. No, George. Well, you have my number you, now. He thinks when you text him that it's that it's Gilbert. <laughs> it's because you don't have my number saved. No, he doesn't save your All number. All right, can I just say this right now? I'm not. I'm going to throw this out there. No, you know what? I'm getting attacked. That's fine. <laughs> but I want to say this. I had a conversation, several conversations, mm. with Chris D'Elia. And I showed up at the comedy store, and he looked at me and goes, yeah, I'm not talking to you. I go, why? You don't call people back. You don't text people back. Mm. You don't respond to people. I go, I don't respond to anybody. And he goes, yeah, but that's not right. I go, yeah, to me it is. It's fine. If it's if you're saying, hey, I found out I have AIDS, okay. I'll respond. I swear to God. I'm okay with that. I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you should have just, you know, you don't, done that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do it anymore. Well, you know I mean? got a barrage of text messages late last night. Yeah, and I? I was, and I was, not only was I, I'm, before she gets into that, <laughs> oh, oh, I need to do a precursor to that. Got it, got it. And go, um, I, sometimes I need backup. Mm. And sometimes I need follow through. And sometimes I need an army behind me to defend me. Because sometimes I'm in dire straits. Okay? <laughs> and, you know, you know, you know, I go out there. I go out there, you know, and I do sh shows for the company. This is the company? Yeah, and I go to Dallas for the company, right? Because I'm going to say this right now. I'm, I'm feeling a little resentful because, um, I, you know, I've done Opie, you know, and I've, I've plugged it on every radio station, Tiger Belly. I've done probably 16, 17, 18 podcasts mm -hmm. from Joey Diaz to the other Mexican to, like, other Wait, ones. who's the other know? Mexican? Felipe? Um, Felipe Esparza <laughs> to, um, you know? And... And I plug and I plug and I plug. I've done morning TV. Mm. Hey, check out my podcast, Tiger Belly. I've done it everywhere. What the fuck have you have you have you, have you done? You done? Who's that to? Everyone in this room. I'm plugging it. So if I'm in a dire situation and my back is up against the wall and I need some fucking help because I'm a human being, right? Can you please help me? So that's the precursor. So go ahead, babe. So don't <laughs> I can't wait to hear what this is. Go, that go was ahead, the babe. Go ahead, babe. Go ahead, babe. <laughs> well, oh, she pulled out the text. <laughs> um, for once in my life, I was actually able to fall asleep at a reasonable hour, which was right at eleven thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. yesterday. I think yep. I ate too many oysters, mm -hmm. and then it fucking put me out for some unacceptable reason. oysters. <laughs> unacceptable. Thank God I woke up at two a.m. Mm -hmm. My eyes somehow open to check my phone yeah and i wake up to like 22 missed calls she was fucking bryce or something <laughs> 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 that's because i texted her and called her like for three hours and for a pops in my head i'm like is she fucking bryce why did bryce why, bryce? why was it bryce i don't, I don't know people, why but there's something about bryce all these celebrities when he sits, <laughs> no when he sits in back of me right here and I sometimes look at him, and he gives like <laughs> Kalilah a look. I go, I'm, I'm on to you, Bryce. Bryce, <laughs> Why poor Bryce. You and your teeth. George's nephew. Oh, yeah, oh, go ahead. Okay, so I wake up to all that, and then I look at my phone, and it says, "Baby, I need you." Five minutes later, I need you. Mm -hmm. Another time, I need you. Mm -hmm. And then finally, he says, "Well, I think my flight is canceled, and I need to figure out when and how I can get home. I'm getting picked up at my hotel in an hour, and I'm going straight to the airport to try to figure it out." Okay. Okay. Doesn't and, sound bad. What did I reply? Okay. At this point, does it sound bad to you? What did Pretty I standard. What did I reply with, Gilbert? Okay, she put she uh, screen captured all the copies of a new flight. Is yes, I booked flight? him a flight booked and I sent flight. it to him. That was mm -hmm. my reply. Mm -hmm. Spoke to him on the phone. Said, "Hey, got this you is another already ticket." Already lying. But I'm gonna, can I just no? Hold you? on. You can you can speak after I speak. Okay, this is okay, my okay. account of what happened. Okay. <laughs> I called him. And I said, I got you another ticket for the exact same time, 7 o'clock, but with a different airline. It's a direct flight to L.A., mm -hmm. and I'll see you when you get here. Mm -hmm. I thought that, hey, I'm, I'm being efficient. I didn't. It's so great. Right? It's not true. But I bought you another flight. It's not bad. He calls me uh -huh. 
bitching. Yeah. Is it first class? No, 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 no. Stop, stop. I need, I, I need a first class ticket. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. This is how. This is what happened. Okay. Okay. She calls me. I get on the phone. I go need help. She goes okay, and I, and I go um. Also, can you get me first class? Mm-hmm. Right. And then she goes, okay, I'll try. She calls back, right? And then she goes, yeah, there is only one first class. It's fifteen hundred dollars for a one way ticket for a, for a three hour flight. For a three hour flight, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think I'm fucking crazy enough to buy that ticket? And I said, get it. <laughs> and I said, she said, are you crazy? I go, no, because can I say something? Yeah. Don't say, don't even give away how much you made this month. I'm not making it. I'm not making it. I'm not going to say that. He screamed, I make this. I made this much (laughs) in January. What do you think? $1,500 is nothing. And I'm sorry. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I know, but it's fucking my money. But let me tell you. So what did I say? Why don't you get on your phone and book your own motherfucking flight? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how. He doesn't know how to do it. That's why. I don't know how. The man doesn't know. (laughs) I don't book a flight. <laughs> it's like it's like this. It's like it's like you know. I was watching that movie Thirty uh, Zero Th- Dark Thirty. Yeah, but you know, Af- like Afghanistan. Them, no, them trying to getting ca- Bob Osama, Osama bin Laden. Laden. Yeah, and it's like what it's like. Go on, get Osama bin Laden. I don't know where to start. Oh, that's what it is. That's your Imagine zero, that. That's your and the zero whole dark morning. I mean, he's like, you better so not then, sleep. So check, check this out. So she goes, I got you another ticket. Right, it was four hundred dollars. What is it? Did you get the fifteen hundred dollar first class one? She's like, no, the she was making some sort of lie. Like I wasn't making a yeah, lie. Yeah, you were. No, I'll what tell you why saying? I know. I will tell you how I know she lied. Because she was yeah, but the, the, the I, it's confused <coughs> because I went online. They wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let her. Right? <laughs> they wouldn't let me. And then I talked to the guy, and he's like, "No, you just have to show up and do it." So I go, "Okay." So I show up to the airport, and I have no, no fucking seat. Yeah, you. But your ticket. It says go to the gate. See an agent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go to the See agent you. at the gate. Common thing and that happens. And she's so rude, by the way. What airline? United. United. Mm. And I go, hey, by the way, is that first class ticket still available? She goes, somebody already bought it online 20 minutes ago, which we were two hours before. So I was deceived. And the whole morning he was just like, you betrayer, you deceive me. That's like, the, I can't right, believe those, you don't right, have my back. Those, is that not betrayal? I guess. No, is it? <laughs> I don't know. No. no. How is that not betrayal when she someone lies ticket. to you? No, I said I wanted something, right? And then she gave me something else. And then she lies. I, my credit it. card does not have $1,500, bro. Oh, um, well, then you could have said that. <laughs> I like his. Son. You could have said that. I'm. I only had right, well, enough for four hundred dollars. You could have said that. You could have said that. But you were bitching and moaning the whole time, and he was like, "You know what? Because of this, I don't have to massage your feet for a whole month." Is he out of that? that and was, mind you, I fucking. That was a pretty good deal. Was, are you out of that? Is he out of Is that? Is that a good deal? Why? Because I. <laughs> because on short notice, I got him a ticket home. Because I had to. Mm. I had to put this green juice on my fingers. This mint juice. It's efficacent oil. It's just filled. Yeah, know, and I. Oil. Oh, they my hands. Yeah. I got to massage your feet, and it seeps into my skin. And I get sick. It smells nice, though. It's That's like so the nice. same stuff from Aaron Brockovich that got everyone sick. <laughs> so, Remember? Such a specific. It's detail. the same stuff. They got everyone cancer in that thing. He's been yelling at me all day. No, I all haven't. All day he's been yelling. You betrayer. You're a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> you know? The next time I'm you just sorry. need to buy, know how to buy flights online. You know what I need to do? Maybe I need like to find an assistant. Have you had one before? No. Mm. Oh, how dare you? What? How fucking dare you uh, say dare you that? What? You need an assistant? As if I haven't been your slave for three years? Yeah, you're right. You need an. I need uh, an assistant. Yeah, slave. I need an assistant. You, why don't you slave. get an assistant. This is a slavery. <laughs> why don't you get? Okay. Why don't you get an assistant so I can call your assistant? <laughs> that would be. You know what? Actually, you should have an assistant. Yeah, you should help you. I'm already Abby's assistant. I'm your manager's assistant. <laughs> yeah. When so, when <laughs> yeah. when no one can get a hold of you, who do they call? That, they call me. You got to give Abby a break though. Because I she's love been Abby. Dealing, she's been dealing with my bullshit for so long. I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm a psychotic person. I'm I'm a psychotic, crazy person, okay? And I have a lot of problems. And you know what? I'm mad enough to admit it. Mm. I'll tell you my character defects. I'm a liar. I've already said it. True mark of a narcissist. I'm a deceiver. True mark of a narcissist. What? 
They'll name all their character defects, but never ever even attempt to change them. I know, but you know what? But they make it like they make it seem like, oh, see, I know what's wrong with me. So people are like, oh, at oh, least yeah. they're honest and they admit oh, yeah? to their faults, but they never want to change <laughs> oh, their yeah? faults. Oh yeah. <laughs> You can't build a house on sand. <laughs> what? You can't. What you can't build a house on sand, okay? You need a foundation. And I'm, I've built the foundation. And I'm trying to build a house, okay? So that's that. Uh, all right, I'm a narcissist too, all right? Two? Who's the other one in the room? That. <laughs> so stupid. I love that. I love him. No, your manager, Abby, and I have a great relationship. We work very well together. And I, I love her. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe I, yeah, I am crazy, and um, you, maybe I need therapy. I guess <laughs> maybe I need deep therapy. I I go to therapy if I think it's not anything to be ashamed of. But also, just anyone listening to me right now, Tiger Belly fans, and if, <laughs> if you've ever had a physical encounter with me, seriously, there's a connection, right? So I don't think that these people think that I'm psychotic or narcissistic or all these things. No, only right. the one that lives with you. I know, but that's <laughs> but that's like a badge of honor. I think generally people it's really like, like you like, when they meet you. Yeah, but it's like this. It's like if if we were Rome, mm -hmm. right, and you were the head of the army, and you have a couple of sl slashes and bruises, I'm still going to get you, you know. You're still a part of the, you know, you're not the common rabble. You know, I don't know. I'm trying to understand this. Wait, 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 I want to explain this what, metaphor. What, what, I'm confused. What, who are you in Rome? Who are you in Rome first? I'm the, the emperor. Okay, so emperor. She's the emperor RV. Lee. She's the head of the RV. Well, no, you're the my queen. Oh, queen. Right, and you're gonna get like I'm gonna as the king. I'm gonna want to go to go to a regular peasant and go. These are my problems. You need to help me. I'm gonna go to the queen. The council. The council, mm -hmm. right? And go. These are my problems, and the queen's gonna be like, and he's always complaining. And like I get so much, you know, of you know, and it's like, what, bitch? You're the queen. That's when you call Littlefinger. The queen's got <laughs> some queen. problems too, you know. I know, but you have family. And King That's has no ears have... for her problems. I know, but you have. He your just mom. has a whole lot of mouth for my problems. You have that Asian friend that you have. The Jessica, I do. I have a one. great support system. Yeah, the beautiful one. My friends are awesome. Yeah. When's the last time, George? I look at you and I just feel so bad. When's the last time you got some pussy? <laughs> Wait, that's not yeah, I mean, I look at you every fucking. Uh, don't Saturday. lie. Oh, Saturday. 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 Tinder, Tinder hookup. Uh, oh. well, previously yes, but it was a third. Uh, Repeat third customer. Date. Yeah. Repeat. Is she a Tiger Belly fan? Do you ever <laughs> hook up with Tiger Belly fans? That's or your no? first thing about Uh, I feel like yes. I already know. You I didn't did, have to tell and that me. was a good one. Mistake. No, that was no, you, no. Oh, the one where you jizzed in your own eye. Is that one? No, no, no. I hooked up with a Tiger Belly fan, and then the whole Jessica story came out, and that stopped. So uh, I already know who. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I. I not, already know. Wait, wait, who. wait. So, wait, wait, wait. so you? No, no, no. Look at me. Was right she now. or was she not at the recording? Uh, no. Okay. Look oh, at me right now. I thought it was. No. So what you're trying to basically say to me right now? Okay. This is serious business. Yes, sir. What you and I have right now is serious fucking business. What you're saying to me right now is that I cock blocked you. From Jessica? Or no, from no, the girl? No, stop. The girl. No, stop. Look I got right double now. cock blocked all at once. I did I did a double cock block. Yeah. Why would she stop tell, talking to you? Tell, tell me about the double cock cock block. How did I do it? <laughs> uh what do you mean? Well tell me exactly what the, the, the situation is because I'm kind of Lost. How it. did Bobby cock block how you? Did I if, cock he, block if you yeah. say he cock blocked you twice. twice, double. Yeah, I want to know how that transpired. Uh, the first one was Jessica. That's the yeah. first cock block. That's not cock blocking. Save here. So Save that's a, the one. That's the one cock block. So okay. aside from that. Okay. So I admit that I like Jessica on the podcast. That was never yeah. gonna work because you. never gonna work. You. 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 I, I, you. I, 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 you. I bear my soul. The ball. I bear. Yeah. I bear my soul. I look like a complete loser. And then the Tiger Belly fan. You were at that time of complete loser. The Tiger Belly fan. Yeah. You fucked that up. The girl who listens to the podcast. Oh, so the other girl listened to it. Oh, this guy isn't the isn't the man he pretended to be now. Yeah. You cock block yourself, friend. How did he turn this on? You did a double cock block, but because you okay. Let me put this out. Yeah. Let me just clear the air for you. Girl who dumped George because of the Jessica story. Him and Jessica never even so much as kissed. Never even so no, much. No, 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 no. I when, know. 
we just stopped texting. Oh, I thought okay. I was going to get yeah, with yeah. Jessica, so I didn't yeah, yeah. want to like no, no, text no, no, her no. and like. Oh, so oh. you just oh, so Look. you cuck blocked yourself, bro. Wait, you, yeah. you stopped oh, texting her because you thought that Jessica was going to eventually how acquiesce. How dare you, you fucking? You know what, dude? See what white people do. <laughs> well, you just revealed that you just stopped texting. White, yourself. See what white people do. I'm learning, Bobby. They spin. <laughs> They spin and they do their little web of the fucking white deceit and they try to fucking get me like feeling bad about myself and my behavior when he did it himself. Apologize to me right now. Whoa. Right now. Hell no. Oh. What? <laughs> what? The, the He's spin gonna doctor's break the chair the door. going to make me no, apologize? No. Look, at, look, look, look at me right now. <laughs> the spin <All> right. doctor. <laughs> apologize <laughs> for your oh. deceit. For what to see? Because you accused me of being a cock blocker when you cock blocked yourself twice. I stressed, <laughs> I, I, so apologize for that at least. I'm not gonna apologize that I got cock blocked. Apologize? A co- a oh, a oh, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna correct look me, me now. Look, God look, damn look, it! Look at me right now. Yes, sir. Apologize. You have to, George, have or to else do. we're never gonna yeah. move I'm on. I'm sorry, Emperor. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? I'm sorry, Emperor. There we early. go. I yeah. love how it was Bobby cock blocked you twice to you apologizing to him <laughs> for cock blocking yourself. <laughs> wow, this guy is the best. The best. The best. I had I dreams the... last night of white people. I know. Uh, she, but this doesn't count, though, because I'm not threatened by this fucking guy. You should be. Bryce? Bryce? Again. No, it's not Bryce. It's a, a, dr- more, oh, it's many... a, it's a masculine Wait, version on. of Bryce. Uh, oysters are... <laughs> <laughs> Oysters are aphrodisiacs, right? Yes, that's why I had sexual. sex dreams all night. That's why. Yeah, and who was it? I need to tell me who it was. Oh yeah, I, I, me and Anderson Cooper were just totally just yeah, a, a gay man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I had the same dream, but with Kathy Griffin. <laughs> but she's straight. I know. I'm kidding. No, but Anderson Cooper, like I've always had a, a deep crush on him. Um, I would get like gender reassignment surgery to have sex with Anderson Cooper. That's strong. Yeah, I love Anderson Cooper. I would suck the shit out of his limp dick. I love Anderson Cooper. You know what? I would probably suck Rachel Maddow's pussy. What do you have to suck it? <laughs> <laughs> it just, she was a, there's a lot of liquid in there. Liquid. So go, she's hot. It's a long clit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's a bright lady. Yeah, she's, she's very really bright. I really like her a lot, but um. <laughs> Do but she's know? too too left, right? A little too left for me to suck her <laughs> pussy. No, just in general. Oh. Yeah. What were you asking me? Nothing. Nothing. What? Someone told me, I don't know if this is real or not, but someone told me that you know how they have professional cuddlers? Mm-hmm. Oh, that apparently true. they have like professional dry humpers. <laughs> and I really want to try, but I don't want you to be angry. I, if you can get it, <laughs> no, okay, let's stop, 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 stop. You can you can get a professional dry hump. Yeah. If number one, yeah, I'm there. Ugh. I have to be there. It's gonna ruin my experience no, to look at your matter. face. No, <laughs> God, that's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> the point is the escape of looking at someone else. Other okay, than stop you. that. Right, for, forget that. Then I get to pick the guy. Oh, uh, no, fuck. You're going to give me... Bri- George? Yeah, George. You're gonna give me George. George. Come on, let it be George, please. Hey, Kalilo, no, uh, Kal- 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 I'm ready. Uh, okay. George, I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready, Kalilo. George, right. I love you. I'm sorry, and, and when he does it, he doesn't even commit. I, I, I apologize, Like, he Bobby. barely does it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I do, let me say this right now. I'm not telling... I'm, I'm not, this is not a lie. If George dry humped Kalila... <laughs> I'm I would sorry, probably George. die from laughter. <laughs> You'd be so okay with it. Not only, I would literally die from laughter. Like, I would go into convulsions. My eyes would go, I'd like be possessed by the devil. Like, I would just be, like, just constantly just vibrating, laughing. Yeah. I mean, it would be, I would, from all the tears coming out of my oh eyes, my yeah. I would die from, like, um. Wait, okay, so when people dry hump, do they, do they get down to their underwear or is it with jeans? I want you to go naked with this fuck. Naked. <laughs> That's just yeah, sex yeah. at that point. No, yeah. you can wear jeans, but I want him naked. <laughs> you have to be so, <laughs> so I'm fully clothed. Yeah, yeah. I'm you wear jeans clothed. and a little armor. Oh my god. Like a chastity like belt. Like a chastity belt. Yeah. <laughs> Are my titties out? I'm sorry. I know that. I know women probably find you attractive, and I love you like a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But I just <clears throat> find you. I just find you so humorous to me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but not in a good way. <laughs> Not in a fucking good way. I find you to be like <laughs> my fucking jester, dude. Jester. Jester, is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I enjoy you. And I'm glad that we met. I'm glad that we have a cosmic connection, you and I. Oh, cosmic. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you, um, 
You deserve an apology from me. Uh, can I get an apology, please, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. When I first met him, mm -hmm. I didn't like him. <laughs> okay. I really didn't. Okay. I was like, who's this guy? And he grew on me. Ew. He did. He grew on me. <laughs> and um, I literally, at nights, pray to God, thanking them, thanking God, them, all the gods. All mm -hmm. the gods, yeah. That they put you in my life. Aww. Just so for all the laughs. <laughs> God, you <laughs> why are you You're doing so this? No, really, all the laughs that I get when I just look at your fucking face. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. And I apologize. <laughs> I do. What? What? You got no, a problem? No, no, no. And I, if you ever fucking look at me and go, are you going to go on that audition, right? I, I swear to fucking God, you could die next time. Which one? Okay. Why are you threatened? Are, you are, you are didn't we gonna get an audition. A, no, I'm just are we gonna have a real you moment? You are so competitive with me. How we're not in the same bracket. Yeah, you are, are so fucking competitive. Competitive. Last year you did the same thing, dude. Okay, you. Well, I, I you fucking too. booked it. I mean, this piece of shit. Dude. <laughs> we're not. Listen, I want you to make it. You're gonna make it, all right? But don't be competitive with me. Okay. Can I just okay. touch your butt, please? Yeah, you, you can, can touch can, it. Thank you. Go ahead. What's, what's okay. It belongs to. But you. I want to say this, all right? Of course, I'm gonna go out on that fucking audition, okay? I just w my response to you is always out of nervousness. Mm. You know, when I get this email, like it says NBC, all that stuff, and you know, are you, you know, and I see this letter, and I have to, you know, I, I get nervous. But the reason I'm relaying this information to y you yeah. is because your manager is out of town in Where Mexico. Is she? She's in Mexico. Abby's in Mexico <laughs> until Sunday, and she says, Kalila. You know, take care of everything this week. So my oh. job was yeah, to receive I mean, emails and say, "Hey, Bobby." But I, here's that's the not script. until next week, right? We we don't have the date set. <laughs> well, yet. I'm not doing it this week because I leave Thursday. Right, Bobby. What <sighs> I'm saying is, the only reason I I didn't mean to stress you out. I just have to ha let you know of certain things on your schedule this week, or else mm -hmm. I'm letting her down. Mm -hmm. It's just for you to be happy. It's not right. to disrupt your day. I also want to say this. I want everyone to boycott the movie. What's that dog movie? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. The, the dog, dog's purpose. The, dog, the dog's died. Yeah, the dog's, dog's purpose. purpose. The dog died? No, the dog no, no, didn't no. die. The dog didn't die. The Does German bodies? Shepherd. Does he switch bodies? <laughs> that's, that's, that, yeah, that's what the premise of it yeah. is. Yeah, but a dog's, dog's purpose. Because I saw a video the other day where a dro dog almost drowned. Okay, the German Shepherd. He just disappeared in the water. And then you're cut, and then you don't see the dog. He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be there. And there's this other one where the handler is like hovering, like the, the you know the dog over the water, like it's like a water, like mm -hmm. a man made like w w wave, wave or something, mm -hmm. and the dog's freaking the fuck out, and it's like, listen, man, I never even thought that I would ever be like that. Yeah, I used to fucking shoot kittens in the face with BB uh, guns. You never Bobby, did that. You still also <laughs> eat. You never did. Cows that are fucking slaughtered fuck, at a rate. Fuck cows. It's delicious. In, <laughs> fuck cows. It's like you, you are kind of a little bit hypocritical. I know. You know what? You're right. It's like saying, it's like a cannibal saying, I only eat Mexicans. What? <laughs> Someone please yeah. make that a t-shirt. <laughs> no, it's like, it's like, it's like. Choosing preference. Yeah. yeah. If, if a can, if I met a cannibal, he should be like, I eat all people. Then I'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I that's get not, your, I point get of view, your but, point. Yeah, but if, but if a cannibal's like, I only eat Mexicans and Greek people, <laughs> then I'd be like, what? That's weird. What race would you think would taste the best? Greek people. I, I think Mexicans, that. but they would be very, very difficult to catch. <laughs> Well, you, you, yeah, you walk into a, like a Mexican's apartment <laughs> and there's 50 of them in there. I don't think the and point... And then you have to pretend you're part of the fiesta. <laughs> you go, bum, 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 and you start dancing. And then you lasso them? Not only that, it's like <laughs> if you're following <laughs> a Mexican, they're better at topography and like... Right? Like, you, you know, know what? They know, you know where the ditch You know, they know where to that's go. That's true. I've never met a Mexican thin or fat, young or old, that couldn't book it or run really yeah, fast. Yeah, they move. Dude, they're athletic I don't want to be stereotypical, fuck. but they know about it. They know the valleys. They know the like. You know. I just think they're athletic. Like I think they're compliment. genetically yeah. fucking fast on their feet. But as a cannibal, I think I would probably eat um, Samoans, right? Meat. Yes, marbled meat. Marbled. I ah, know that'd be difficult too. They're just huge. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to fucking have whale, you know, spears and stuff to get them down. <laughs> a team of people. <laughs> like you need, you need a like crew. Like a harpoon. You need a harpoon and a crew. You don't need any of that. Yeah, you do. You, got, you need a boat to even get to the Samoa. Oh, you would need a boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then you just you have Samoans in Long Beach, the, Bobby. The, oh, there are plenty. Yeah, yeah. But probably, you know what? I would probably do white. You'd eat white people. There are more of them. No, I'm talking about in just America. Strictly the flavor of this of the meat. Oh, that's all I'm talking about. No. <laughs> Bobby's going in I'm depth not. about capturing. No, no, no. Yeah, who cares about <laughs> whether or not you think, can capture I think, them? I think I still think white people, not poor white people, hipster, not even hipster, but like white people that have like made money and they mm. eat good, you know, organic yeah. meat. Yeah, yeah, I think that white people would be the cleanest meat. I'm going to Whole Foods. Hunt them in Whole Foods. What? Hunt them in Whole Foods. Yeah, right, 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 right. We go Whole to Whole Foods. Foods. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't think, I think you're wrong. Who would you eat? Um, I'd probably eat provincial Filipinos because their food is naturally organic because they don't have like money to inject, to give their chicken hormones and they don't have enough. Their their diet is very based on very basic vegetable stews and then chicken and then fish. Um, Some lechon sometimes, but the really, really poor ones have a very basic clean diet that's not really, um, it's like unadulterated. It's like unfun. But I would also only eat dudes. Why, why? dudes? But they wouldn't catch on to me because, you know, like the police would find just the dick Dicks left and the, and the butthole. <laughs> but why is that the reason why you don't eat dudes? What? I do. Not, I would eat dudes. Why not women? Because it, dudes are bigger. Oh. Right? There's more to it, right? And I just, I, you know, there's also rape attached. Like, it's what? rapey when you're killing a woman. Oh, that's true. They're screaming. They're scratching. I don't it's a want guy. It's good. For the guy, <laughs> okay. But they would know, but they would know, you know, because they would, you have testicles and a dick and just put the butthole just there. Yeah. I, I would have everything else around it, though. Man, that Bobby never eats the butthole. <laughs> yeah, Leaves yeah. that butthole to waste. <laughs> yeah. You would eat the dick. You're supposed to utilize the whole animal. You would eat the, the dick. dick. Would I eat a long piece of tender tenderloin? It's basically a pork tenderloin. All right. Yeah. That's your what thing. do they call it? Lung show? Lung show? What? Where's that? It's like cow dick in the Philippines. We eat it. What the fuck is yeah, it of called? Of course, you you're the only it. one that eats. Of course, cow you dick. eat it. <laughs> what the fuck you're is it fucking called? Come on, guys, it's long show. Yeah, Everyone I think it's called long show. Stewed long show. Long, long. Cow dick. Philisibu. George, George already eats people. I can tell. <laughs> There's a tab. It is long show. Bull testicle. Oh, it's the it's the, it's the it look the eye. It's the in bull, Singapore. Uh, I hope we talked about this in Singapore that 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 a restaurant that only serves animal dick and stuff. That's all they serve. Why yeah. is that such like a, a sh- like an you know but an that's exotic all, but that's all they part serve. of that? I would be more freaked out if someone's like, "Hey, here's some like pig nails, like the actual like fingernails no, of pig." I'd be like, "Oh, dick. that's gross." I don't eat the dick. Why? It's just. But fucking... imagine if you're like, if your boss, like your boss is like, "That's where we're gonna go to eat," so you have to order, right? <laughs> Why not? So that I would order the smallest mammal. <laughs> oh, the mouse? No, or no, like the pygmy, <laughs> the pygmy possum, possum, <laughs> which is like one of the smallest, right? But then I always imagine like, but then it comes to your table and it's like cereal, like it's like a, a thousand of them. <laughs> oh, I see. So it's not like, like one right? piece. You think you're only getting one little piece, but it's like cereal and then you get the poor milk in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Right? And so then you're cool. like, oh, I fucked up. I should have just got the donkey the One dick. giant donkey Yeah, yeah, dick. yeah. A cereal <laughs> pick me? Yeah. And then like you're chewing on it and it doesn't break apart. It's like rubber bands, right? Oh, so it doesn't ever break man. apart. You're like, so you just swallow it whole. I actually changed my mind. Oh, I know man. who I'm gonna eat. Who? Like a uh, home homegrown Texan. Who? Rick a homegrown Rick Texan. Perry. Any Rick homegrown Perry. Texan with a little bit of a meat politician. on their bones, that's who I would eat. That seems like good good like it would last me a long time kind of meat. And I could like turn some into beef jerky and then the others I could eat now. What celebrity would you eat? Um, let me see. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Who looks uh, delicious? My to you? favorite topic: cannibalism. Bobby has who, a topic. Who, I can tell the way. No, looks I'm delicious? just thinking. I'm thinking. Who looks delicious? Iggy Azalea. Who? That's Iggy a, Azalea. Who's that? A dirty. Rapper? But just her yeah. her butt part. Yeah. But the I don't part. even know if that's it's naturally her butt it's not though. Real. Yeah. You know, because I don't want silicone or yeah. injections in my mouth. I want like real meat. An athlete. I think for sure. No, no, no. You don't want too much like lean meat, or else it'd be like eating venison. Never mind. Like, you want something marbled a little bit. I would eat. I would eat when, him, I think. His belly. Right, when, right for the belly. <laughs> Not me. Don't eat me. <laughs> Pick someone else. Probably when Chris Pratt was heavier. Ooh. Yeah. That's a nice meaty when man. When he was heavier. Yeah. yeah. He looked good. Yeah, I love him. He's good. <laughs> I don't think you can ever be friends anymore. You... Why? What if he hears this? Yeah. It's so funny because I've, it's so funny because I've been to Chris Pratt's house. You have? Yeah, because... Wait, what's yeah, because I'll tell you why. Because Bethany Dwyer is a comedian. Mm-hmm. Her best friend is Anna Ferris, mm, his wife. Also, Anna Ferris had done a couple of Matt TVs, 
and I did the dictator with her. So I know her. Like if I saw Anna, it would be very nice. She's so nice. So I've been to her house, but Chris Pratt wasn't there, right? And also Anna Farrow wasn't there. I think Bethany was a house eating, mm. but I've been to his house. <laughs> That's Very cool, Bobby. <laughs> Very cool. You Creepy. Fuck you. Were you fuck looking at the you. family photos? Like, no. I mean, I, I like being in people's. House. I've been in Vince Vaughn's house. Mm -hmm. Um, you're like friends, friends with him. At I, yeah, that was at the time. Yeah, and then I've been in. Uh, I've been in Polly Shore's houses, different houses. I like people's you? houses. Eric Stone Street has a nice house. Ooh. What are we at time? Probably not fifty. Hour. 50 hour? No, 50 minutes. We're at 50 minutes? Question, when yeah. do we usually go? 50. To 50? Oh, my scalp's so itchy. You can set it on the dot. I set it on the dot? Yep. 50, 40 Why, are you but, running out of things to say, sir? No, Sound but Sound and no. like it? He kind of gets it. What? You kind of got it. You got it on 50. No, I have three hours of sleep. I was like kind of dreading doing this one because I was kind of like, I'm just delirious. And then Kalila and I were had a little thing before. It's okay. We ended up talking about cannibalism, which I know, is but, like Yeah, fine. but you and I had a little thing before. What thing, Biz? Because you've been yelling at me all fucking day. <laughs> I know, can you do me one last favor to, for the rest of the day? <laughs> That's a whole 24 hour trip. <laughs> just the last thing. And tomorrow I won't ask her ever anything. Ooh, it is That's impossible, but okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> Pizza. What do you want to eat? I already ate pizza today, so it's got to be something different. Wow, you wait till midnight to ask me to get you some food. Is there Kore could the Korean restaurants deliver? Probably. I could probably find something for like you. Like what? Or I'll go pick it up for you, I guess, Your Highness. No, you won't. No, you won't. What's the question? I'm helpful of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I got get next week. Steven. No, we're waiting. Why? Well, what? He's, wants he's ready to do it. He's not ready to do it. He has my number. Yeah, but Steve, you never asked him. To him. I did ask him. You going to see the text? Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> you asked him on the day that you saw him, him but not again. Yeah, I know, but I did ask him. Yeah. And I go, you have to do my podcast. He said, I'll do it. But then cool. after that, after that, I'm too afraid to ask. Oh, well. But let, how, how about this? How about this? I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. <laughs> There's a couple of people that I want to get on before. Okay. 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 So I want to get... um. Andrew Santino on. Mm -hmm. He's been asked for a lot. A lot of the comments want him. Yeah, I love Andrew Santino. And also, he's plugging um, his show. Mm. So that'd be good. Mm -hmm. And then there was one else, another name that I wanted to get before. I know. I remember. Who? You said that we were going to have Steve-O on. Steve-O, oh, we can duh, get. Yeah. So Steve-O, right? Okay. And then um, how do you guys feel about Tom Green? Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. I love Tom. I mean, there's a bunch of guys, you know what I mean? So I we will get Steve out. It's Steve Yoon, mm -hmm. right? But um you know, I'm just gonna wait for a second a sec. I know okay. you guys have been on my case about it, but you have to understand that I'm um I don't I ah, he's a Pretty big star, and I don't want to. I don't want to feel intrusive. Are you weird about him coming to your home? No, I don't feel weird about that at all. Stone Street would do it too. Oh, I asked him. Eric. I asked Stone Street. Stone Street will do it. So we'll work on you know all of them, and um. But we also you know we never want to get to a point where we're relying on mm -hmm. on guests. That's what like, I'm saying. Is you like and I they, should these always ones, be able to. Who was there last week? The black guy. The place. Ian Edwards, yeah, right? Yeah. Are you mad at that? I said that. No. What? Okay. <laughs> Clara, why are you she, so she, upset? She, she, she gets weird guy. when I are like seemingly racist. <laughs> like, yeah, but I'm not. I love all people. But my point is, is this: is that um, this is a good one. You know, how does Steve do? My brother has a podcast. You uh, guys tried to prototype. What? Our biggest one yet? No, what? no. How is Steve's, pod Steve oh, Steve's podcast? Steve Lee's solo one. Yes, his solo one. Uh, it's going great. Uh, it's really different. Very weird. I love That's it. Good. He's doing his own? Uh, yeah. By himself? Yeah. And he talks for how long? Uh, it's a half an hour. Yeah. Perfect. And what music. does he talk about? He sings a lot? Yeah. It's a visual podcast. It's very visual. It's not uh, It's not just oh, an audio cool. podcast. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It's just his own, so which is perfect. So we piloted it last week. Uh, we're going to shoot again tomorrow. Cool. And we're going to release it once it's ready. That's great. Oh, wow. That's great. So Steve, my brother's doing it. And, um, and he's going to get back on here to promote it. Awesome. You fucking better that piece of shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Go ahead. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Hi, guys. My name's Romney, and I want to ask you guys, especially Bobby, whether you think this was molestation or was I just gay? 
When I was 10, my cousin, who was 14, forced me to suck his dick and then later penetrated my asshole. This happened a couple times in a row, now, uh, and I'm now 19. And has never been in any, and I've never been in any relationship because it has fucked me up mentally, and I can't stop thinking about it. Mm. I'm afraid of getting a girlfriend now because I feel she judged me. How do I deal with my fucked up life? No, thanks. No, it's not. It's just isn't. being 19. Okay, this is my opinion. Is some people win genetic lotteries? Mm-hmm. Okay, and those people in high school that are like the the hot guy or the popular guy or the jock. Later in life, they they don't get pussy. Okay, they don't generally. I think his question was, did Just he listen. get mollus- no, molested? No, I'm gonna re- I'm gonna address that, babe. I'm gonna address that. <laughs> I'm address the white. I'm gonna address it. I'm gonna address it. I'm gonna address it. I'm gonna address it. Okay. <laughs> so I think him being 19 as it is without the fucking ass raping, right? The people ask themselves like, you know, I feel I'm not confident. I was like that. I was unfuckable. I couldn't do it. I felt like. Because, you know, I had some gay shit in my past because I was molested and all that kind of stuff that it's probably that it wasn't that it was that I need to find the confidence to go for the women that I wanted because the level of women that was presented to me at 19 just wasn't good enough. And I know that maybe I wasn't physically like, you know there you know but in my mind papa deserves the best right so what i'm saying is is that yes it did probably affect you right it is a fucked up thing that happened but let me tell you so this right now that's happened to so many dudes through the history of time family members doing gay shit family members doing you know when you're growing up doing stuff or you're doing stuff with your friends that are like weirdly sexual you know how people play doctor and stuff, kids and stuff. Mm-hmm. But also, let's be clear: what he did to you was absolutely right. wrong. Wrong. <laughs> oh, conflicting wrong. answers. <laughs> no, you're right. I was gonna say wrong. Okay. It was absolutely wrong. wrong. He's a ten year old child, <laughs> probably overpowered by a bigger guy. Um, but also, like your concern about being open with women or being open with a girl about your experience might be a little bit um, just out of your. Pure this, fear. Right now, oh, by the way, Bobby's right been back. holding his poop this whole podcast. Yeah. yeah. I think that you should give girls a lot more credit for being understanding people. I think that when I was even, uh, let's, I, I put myself back to being, let's say, 17, 18, and I meet a guy. And if he were to tell me, hey, like I was molested at the age of 10, my cousin did this, I, I wouldn't think of him any differently. I wouldn't, it, it's just, that's just, that kind of shit just happens. That wasn't your fault. You didn't have control over the situation. And I think you need to give um, women and girls more credit. I think that she'd be completely understanding of it. And I don't think that she wouldn't want to fuck you because of it. You know, like I, yeah. it just seems unlikely that she would use that as a reason to not have sex with you. I mean, I'm having sex with someone who's voluntarily sucked multiple male dicks. Voluntarily. And if it doesn't matter to me, <laughs> I think that it's not what happened to you isn't going to matter to majority of women. Yeah. And if it matters to her, she's a fucking dipshit and you should just move on to somebody else. I'm just not the right person for <coughs> you. Yeah. Also, don't make that your first thing you say, though. Yeah, I mean, don't Hi, open with, hey, I I've been ass, ass raped. raped. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, I mean, this is also, it's none of her business what happened to you at the age of 10. If you choose to never disclose that, that's also your... You know, that's also your right. But if it's something you feel the need to disclose because it's affecting you and it explains a lot of like the way you are, I then then yeah, disclose it. But it's I don't think it's uh, it's gonna well, push women away. Any shows for Bobby? I haven't played Wait. Destiny oh, in three weeks. <laughs> that was that was a very quick shit. Did you wipe? No. Three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> three weeks. I haven't played Destiny. Four weeks, right? Yeah, about a month now. Yeah, about I a think. month now. Good. So um, that's good. That's growth. And I have shows in Dallas this week mm-hmm. at the Addison Improv. Please come. Please. Please. I need it. Yeah. And then um, I'm in... Um, San Jose, February 10th through 12th. Oh, my God. Why? You that. love it there. I love Hooman. Yeah, Hooman's the best. But my ticket numbers there, I used to sell that fucker out. It just hasn't been the same. It's a big theater too. I know I used to sell that motherfucker out, but now it's been not been the same. But 
I compare my numbers to Joe Coy's, really, to be honest with you. He does so well because he's good at publicizing. Yeah. He does a thing where um, he has an amassed email <coughs> list. Oh. Well, you know, it's from um, Gabriel Iglesias. Mm-hmm. Fluffy. Mm-hmm. He started a thing years ago. It's kind of genius where you take a photo. You know how people want to take photos, but you do it with your own camera. So mm-hmm. then they go to some sort of website or Facebook or whatever. Oh, yeah. They take mm-hmm. the photo, but then you, you get an email exchange and, you know. It's just an email list. I know, but. It's a forced email list. It's a forced email list. But like, and then they go in the town. They amass over the years, what, like hundreds of thousands of emails yeah, per yeah. city. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden they're selling out every show. Me, I don't do nothing. iPhone. You know, but. You don't because you also don't want to. I think there's a part of you that wants to be a little more elusive. You don't want to be too mainstream. There is a little bit of that. You're right. I think there is a little bit of me just kind of going, you know, I'd rather, I like, I like kind of just showing up and being weird. And I purposely weird. You know what I mean? Like I'll just walk up to a waiter and go, and then just walk away. And they go, what the fuck? You know? And then I like, um, I, I, you know, also, and I'm not going to pat myself on the back, but I've always been good to local comedians. And I'm going to tell you a story. I'm not going to name the guy, okay? But my host, okay, this kid named Josh, he always hosts for me in San Antonio. He requested um, another a comic who I'm friends with who's as probably bigger than me. And when he picked him up from the airport, he goes, hey, dude, I'm also emceeing your show. And the guy goes, no, you're not. He goes, why? Cause I, because I don't want you on the show. And so then, my, then Josh dropped him off at the hotel and then walked away all sad. Oh. And, like, and when I hear comedians treating other younger comedians that way, it fucking drives me crazy. Because the thing is, is this. And it's been like this through the history of fucking time, okay? Is is that these comedians, like I told you about Judd Apatow and Jeff Garland in Addison in 19... The club I'm playing this weekend, there is a file cabinet in the office. And it says old lineups. They have lineups from the 80s. And like, just in, like in this file. And I opened up just one random one, 1990... Because that was the year I graduated from high school. And I saw Diane Ford headlining. Nobody knows who the fuck she is. But Jeff Garland from Kirby Enthusiasm was featuring. Judd Apatow was emceeing. Mm. Okay? Whoa. Let me tell you this right now. Okay? I don't know how, what Diane Ford... But Diane Ford probably a nice lady. But if she wasn't, and she wasn't nice to Jeff Garland and Judd Apatow back then, do you think that they would ever help her when she needs it? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Right? That's why, like, kids like Jack Knight, I know is going to be a big star. Hands down. A lot of these kids, you never know. So, you know, my thing is just be nice to everybody. Be supportive if they have advice. And there is something about, there was this little Asian kid in San Antonio. He was like, he was small. He reminded me of uh, Pikachu from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was there. I took him to a diner, like a bunch of comics. And he's in and out of comedy. Like, he doesn't know, you know. But, you know, he's asking me questions. I give him direct answers. And it's like, <sighs> you're being at service. It doesn't cost you anything to be nice to these younger guys. It really doesn't it cost doesn't. you anything. Yeah. And a lot of these headliners, they treat them like shit. The things I hear, I don't know why they do that. And I kind of, I, you know, and when Josh told me that, this old MC, I said, I'm going to call him right now. He's like, please don't. I was, you know, I wasn't going to, but I wanted to. I wanted to, because he's a friend of mine. I wanted to call him and go, dude, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? You know, you're, first of all, number one, he's not that big of a star. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He's not <clears throat> Chappelle. Yeah. He's my level. When you're at my level, you can't afford that to be like that. And I was at the airport too, you know, to this morning, and there was a lot of um, military kids, eighteen, and I don't know, man. 
they were just so kind. And I hugged them. I love hugging military kids. 18, no, I do. I do. I really, um, I really, um, I'm grateful for their service. Okay. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at Tiger Belly, on Twitter at the Tiger Belly, or email us any questions like the folks today at the Tiger Belly at gmail dot com. Not, not cool, no, because I, I wasn't. I didn't say K because I have anything. Betrayal. <laughs> Get him food. That's your payment for the betrayal, dude. Uh, you guys, he's been treating me like dog Baby, shit all day. On, no, give me a popo. Uh, don't oh. forget to rate us on iTunes, please. No, could do. You have to do the list. I'm I not gonna to kiss, kiss you back. Li- 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 I won't kiss please, you back. Please, please be back. I'm really vulnerable. I'm so tired. I love you so much. I won't move my lips at all. No, you can kiss, kiss my lips, no, go, but I won't I kiss back. Nope, right, I won't. Right. I won't do it. This is really interesting to watch. <laughs> Did I kiss him back? No, right. Uh, would you say, George? Uh, don't forget to rate us on iTunes, please, guys. It helps a lot. And uh, you can check out all Bobby's shows at BobbyLeeLive.com. You can follow Kalila and all her shenanigans at Calamity K across all social media platforms. Uh, if you want to mail us anything, the address is... 1626 North Wilcox Avenue, number 161, Hollywood, California, 90028. 28. 28. Right? <clears throat> we still don't. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Could Maybe. be. Someone else might get it. <laughs> no, we're we're gonna get it. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick shout out to your mom and your dad, who oh I my, met. What did my dad weekend. talk to you about? I love your dad. I love that I can speak beside it to somebody. Could you see the difference between them though? He's very like yeah that, and then my mom you're, is more like reserved. Your mom, your dad's observe. a showman. Your dad much. is like you know he was like telling us all the jokes that he Ugh. would do in like his early stand up, but he was so cute. Your dad's like a. But but your mom's my kind of gal. She's very like direct, like no bullshit. Very, <clears throat> I liked her a lot. Yeah, she was kind of starstruck to see you. Me, Whoa. she kept looking at me like, is she pretty uh, or is no, she not pretty? No, no, it's funny you said because she told me I was like I was like mom, so you talked to class. She's like, yeah, I was looking at it first from a distance while your papa was doing his annoying thing, whatever. And then I was just watching, be like, yeah. That's the one on the screen. She was like, examining your features to see if yeah. you were just saying. No, but she couldn't She's going to be so pissed that I'm saying this. She's like, yeah, she's pretty in real life, too. She's like, no, she said I was prettier in real life. I was like, damn it, I probably don't come off very good. I'm not photogenic. Ma, don't say that. No, but I loved I loved your mom. Thank you for the t-shirts and the pastillas. The They're what very tasty. was given? Pastillas. She gave you stuff? Yeah. At the fucking show? Yeah, she got me oh She got me God. two t-shirts and <laughs> so some random. candy. From uh, from the Philippines. Ma, she's more Filipino <coughs> than you. She doesn't need that stuff. No, she was great. So shout out to your mom and dad. They were awesome. And thanks for coming. Yeah, you George. were. George. Yeah, George, where the fuck were you? Been, you were an I'm, industry invite. I've been working I'm all kidding, week. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding, sorry. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, man, I'm kidding. Wait, hold on. So you're working, you couldn't come Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm Friday, kidding. Saturday. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm Correct. Fine. He told me it was busy. You missed he out told me because he was heard, so good. I heard great things. Thank you. Jim Tucker said it was, uh, said it was great. Oh, who's Jim Tucker? Uh, he's been helping out with the website. Ah, oh, he came to the show. Yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, said very funny, very physical. Loved all your stuff. Nice. Jim Tucker, thank you for coming. Mm-hmm. Anything, other announcements for us, uh, Tiger Belly-wise? We have a new website. Have we said that yet? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, Um, let's wait to advertise it until the, we got a website. Kidding. Uh, yeah. Don't go on. there. Yeah, yeah. Wait. <laughs> no, we, we don't have a website yet. Don't, we don't have it. Uh, Joke. Not, it's not the tigerbelly.com. Uh, Reddit? Not, anything on Reddit going on? Uh... No, nah, Bobby was trending on videos, but uh, number two. Oh, was he? Yeah, Duh. on the Joey Diaz podcast. Cool. But that'll be done trending by the time this comes out. So. Oh, I just. Uh, that was. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. guys. That oh, wasn't. Oh, that, no, so that was sorry. not George or me. I want you to know that was oh, Kalila's body. I apologize, guys. Um. Also, Bobby is going to be um on the Fighter and the Kid this week. And Kalila, if you guys, if you guys want Kalila to get on the Fighter and the, the Kid, shut the fuck up, Gilbert. No, because I want to see you on there. <laughs> yeah. If you want Kalila on the Fighter and the Kid, you go tweet her right now and give her I, the support. Uh, fuck, let me just make this okay, very fine, clear for fine, you guys. Fine. Make very clear for you guys. I appreciate that you guys think that I'm worthy. Yes. But also, <clears throat> they are a business, right? And they are also in the business of getting, just like us, of getting views and, you know, downloads, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Bobby Lee is the name. Okay. Bobby Lee deserves to go on The Fighter and the Kid because he is he is a name. Mm-hmm. And I rest my case. I am nameless and I do Tiger Belly with you guys, so... I am. I don't. Don't push that. Don't push, push that. It, it makes me uncomfortable. But counter. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay, fine. When you guys you, push you made it. that face, I won't push it. Yeah, okay. You know, I really want Thanks. you to. 
Thank you for thinking that I could be on there. Because you killed it on <clears> the, <throat> you know, you killed it. But I was, I was a last minute replacement. I, I had, it was a last minute. Oh, I'm. I guess Bobby doesn't know. At that time, Bobby ha- hadn't like brushed up on a lot of MMA, and he w- he pushed me. He was like, "But my girlfriend kind of knows." So I was like, "Oh shit," you know. <laughs> you I guess a, you weren't a Mexican. Oh shit. <laughs> no, I really had an oh shit moment. I was like, "I okay, I guess." Couldn't you know? tell, but I can't. We won't push you. Yeah, don't don't because that's kind of gross. You should do it. But you should do it. Shut Anyways. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's our show. Thanks for listening. All right, and see you watching. guys next week. Ciao. Bye. Couple